What's going on, y'all? Ground and Motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video. And today, man, I'm reacting to a good friend, man, Black Light Revelations, man. Go ahead and check his channel out right now and become a member, man, because I ain't became a member because I'm garbage. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it because, yeah, I. It's like he was like, be like, man, become a member and everything like that. And I always click on the thing and everything, and then like I start like getting lazy and stuff, and then like it's like you gotta sign up for this and sign up for that, yeah. and then I come back and I can't find where to go sign up again, and it's like, oh, all right, all right. All I hear is excuses. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Yeah, man, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm gonna get on it, man. You can become a member soon. And you should, today. you should definitely learn about that cryptocurrency stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he got the he got the juice. Rob's got the juice, man. They ain't just out here just talking about some mess and everything like that, man. He's gonna get you right, so you can be a man who builds. <laughs> but but yeah, man. The name of this video right here, man, this has been requested by several people, man. I know that boy Devil the Everbert was uh, was asking about it and a few others, and it's uh, Crime Cast. Colin Nat charged with second degree murder of Kathleen Morris. Crazy, man. So we're going to go ahead and get into the video, man. See what you guys think, man. Of course, we'll give our thoughts, man. Let's see what Rob's got to say. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the bell icon <laughs> twice. All right, so we got a case down in Pasco County, all right? And it's a couple, all right? And apparently, at first, it was a missing persons case. Now, the boyfriend has been charged with second degree murder all right so let's actually get into this and see what this is talking about sheriff deputies searching for kathleen moore's body boyfriend is charged with second degree murder so let's check out this three minute video clip and see exactly what they're talking about here and to look over you because i know you're looking for answers i know right now you are in awful pain Right now at 11, the week-long search for a missing woman takes a heartbreaking turn. The ongoing search... Now I got a question. They said that this has been a week-long um, search. I This is the first I've heard of this. Has anybody heard of this? Uh, this woman's name is Kathleen Moore. I will have this hashtagged in the uh, description box. Um, if anybody gets any updates or hears anything more about this, um, let me know. Search for answers about Kathleen Moore's death as deputies. Are yeah, that motherfucker looks like a uh, Duck Dynasty <laughs> stand-in. He does. What do you think about that? I don't know How, what that does is. Does that look like somebody that you would be interested in? No. Why not? What is the reasonings? Mm -hmm. I mean, he could be a person with a great heart, but... I don't know. <laughs> Basically, he's not good looking. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but Duck Dynasty is like uh, it's like a group of like white dudes. They they like hunt ducks or something. I guess they like hunt. Oh. Yeah. And I think that I think one of them got caught being racist or something like that. So yeah. Okay. Also, I I feel like people like that would just not be interested in me. Okay. He seems, you know. Well, I mean, he's interested in a black lady, so I mean, he's he's obviously. No, no, we're out. just judging on the look. Okay. Right? I yeah. Think, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He be like, oh yeah, you you Kylie. Like, one of those like, kinds. Like white supremacy, yeah. Like those kind of oh, he's like that. Yeah. Okay, I can get, I can give you that one. He definitely looks like he's got a Confederate flag hanging around. Oh, he's looking at me right now. <laughs> doesn't look like the uh, friendliest zaddy that I've ever seen. In my life. <laughs> he you doesn't look very friendly at all. Doesn't seem like one that would be friendly to black people, but you know, who knows? Whatever. Reporter Rochelle Aline joins us live outside of the Pasco County Jail with the late-breaking details on this case. So Rochelle, the sheriff's office says Colin was booked into jail after they found bloody clothes in a very surprising place, right? You know, they did, according to the sheriff's office, they say they found his clothes with Kathleen's blood on it in a dumpster belonging to his job. They say he's a kitchen manager at Harold Seltzer's. Oh, this motherfucker's a kitchen manager. He's got access to all kinds right. of knives and stoves and all and, and, and places to dump stuff out at. Who knows? Huh. He definitely stashed her somewhere. Um. What I'm curious about is they've been looking for this woman for a week. Um, why didn't they look at the job or why didn't they look around anywhere there? What do you think about that? Why didn't they look at the, the obvious places? Like where he works? Yeah. They probably did. Or, you know, like whenever you you get a search warrant, you mm -hmm. need to have probable cause. Mm -hmm. And if the boyfriend didn't have any 
uh, like motive, I guess, to kill her where mm -hmm. there's no evidence linking him to her, mm -hmm. they probably wouldn't be able to get a warrant from the DA. Hmm. But wouldn't, wouldn't his probable cause be his rap sheet? Because I heard he has a rap sheet. Okay. So like, wouldn't that be like, oh yeah, he, he kind of is a rambunctious little guy or something like that. Wouldn't that be like enough for somebody to be like, yes, yeah, go get him? I don't know how it works, but I just know sometimes you just need to have evidence to get a search warrant. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I Especially think, it's not his residence. It's like yeah. his workplace. Uh, and that's going to, I guess, disrupt the business too. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get it. I'm curious as to how much effort was actually put into this investigation. I want to start off with our, our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Catherine Moore. Condolences in a case so many in Pasco and Pinellas County wanted to end another way. If there's one thing that I can tell the family, is that Kathleen was absolutely loved by this community. According to the Pasco County Sheriff's Office, Kathleen Moore was last seen alive bar hopping with her boyfriend, Colin Knapp, late into the night on November 28th. One week later... So she was with the boyfriend the last day and they were bar hopping? I wonder is there like a history of alcoholism or anything there with that couple? That's weird. I bet you the motherfuckers got drunk. He went motherfucking ballistic, lost control, killed her ass, and took her to work and used some of that meat processing shit that they have at the job mm. to try to get rid of the evidence. That's too easy. Like, yeah, you got a meat grind and all that and all the different kind of knives and everything. Yeah, right. definitely. What do you think about that? Uh, I think, I, I don't know if I heard, he might be about to say it, but I, I like, when the, like when I was just letting the video run mm -hmm. or a little bit earlier, yeah. I think he was saying something about when you have uh, toxic couples and anything like that, why are you guys doing drugs and getting drunk around each other? What do you think about that? You think that's pretty, that's pretty real? Or do you feel like, yeah, just get drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's fishing for something. <laughs> I have to be very careful here. <laughs> I mean... I feel like um, it is, I would say it's like, it's it's common for a couple who both drink to get like a nightcap or something, okay. right? So it's common that they both go out and, mm -hmm. and, and drink, Yeah. but getting drunk, how old are they? They're old, they got to Oh old. Yeah, I feel like if they're both like you know, 20 something, getting drunk, mm -hmm. come back home, hand over the next day, yeah, it probably makes sense because they're young, they're so experienced in life. But if you're like, oh, that's definitely like alcoholism. Right. Right? Yeah. And then what if, uh, I guess like also, with a situation like this, I don't think that, it, that this is like a one-off on this type of behavior. I think this guy's the, the kind of guy who has had some consistency with his behavior. Like, like whenever we've seen like guys that, uh, that hit on their wives and are hit on their girlfriends and everything, like the whole thing with Zach Stacy, like we know that's not a one-off thing because mm -hmm. the lady recorded it, she had her hands up, she mm -hmm. knew what was, hell, hell was about to go on mm -hmm. and so forth and so on with these other things. So I don't think that, that this is a one-off. I think he's been going crazy before, so like why would you continue to get drunk around somebody that you know is a little unhinged? What do you think about that? Mm. But you know how people always plead for a second chance? It's like, Honey, I'm gonna change. I promise. Last okay. time, and people fall for that. So he was like, "Come on, baby, please, come on, baby." You know how he probably talked. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. <laughs> come on, please, baby. Come yes, on, baby. Like, especially if you've been with that person for a while, you know, you start to think about all the other good aspect of this person. Yeah. Maybe I'll forgive him. Okay. Yeah, just okay. one more trial. So I think I said that's a lesson to be learned when it when it comes to somebody that's showing you trash behavior. You can't just always think of the good and think that that's gonna be. The, what it is, you got to mm -hmm. think of the things they did, what the, the severity of the things that they did. If, they, if it was just like a little small, minor thing, maybe you could let it pass. But mm -hmm. if it was something that was like, yeah, he lashed out, yelled at you real badly, beat on your real hit on you one time, and then that's kind of un unforgivable. If she cheated on you one time, that's unforgivable. Right. So I think that uh, when it comes to that, you can't just be thinking with rose colored glass. You got to be a little bit smarter out here and think with your logic instead of your emotions. So. I think that's one mistake that she might have made. I, I I know for sure that this guy wasn't just out here being a saint the whole time. Yeah, he worked at the restaurant, kept his little job and everything like that. But Rob said he was doing meth. He was doing uh, all this. I think he was doing some cocaine, all that kind of stuff. So who knows? Let's get it. PCSO says mm. Nap claims he and Moore got into a few fights at the bar and mm. then got into another fight at his home in Newport Ritchie. Mm. He says she was... That's what it was. They got drunk, stupid, out of control, and... Like, uh, 
you know, like Neely Fuller Jr. says, sometimes they just check out. That but for like missing people's case, mm -hmm. police don't really put into force to start looking for, or like they, they won't let you file a case till it's like 48 or 72 hours mm -hmm. after the person was last seen, right? Okay. So it probably means like after that night, someone went to the station, probably not a boyfriend, to yeah. report, you yeah. know? And then it took them a while to figure out, okay, she was last seen at a bar, mm -hmm. and then figure out the time frame. And be like, oh, it's not there yet. So yeah. we're gonna wait till like two days or three days, and but, then. Well, actually Rob said it was a week. It wasn't no two days. He said. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying so. That they probably filed the case okay. after two, three days, and yeah. then look for her okay. for okay. like three, four days, okay. and then that's when they link all the dots together okay. and be like, mm, this okay. is probably not a missing person's case anymore. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Let's see that CSI knowledge is shining through. <laughs> Shiny. What happened? That motherfucker checked out of reality, decided to kill his significant other and then hide her left but after finding her phone in a dumpster near knapp's home and then finding bloody clothes in another dumpster near knapp's job investigators claim they have enough to charge him with her this dude has them crazy ass eyes you know what i'm saying you can tell that he did some shit if y'all got a relationship that's that toxic I wouldn't advise you do shit like get drunk or do drugs together. Anytime where you're going to be doing anything where you don't have 100% control over your faculties, um, where you don't have 100% control over your environment, this is a... That's a question I have. Do you feel like people who have violent tendency, mm -hmm. they're going to be like violent towards every woman they're with? Okay, I'm assuming it's a guy, right? Yeah. Are they going to be violent towards every single woman they're with, yeah. or it's just towards certain ones? Mm, I think I think it's just who they are. I think it's towards every woman they're every with. Every woman they're yeah. with. And I, but I do think that uh, certain ones will bring the most out on like uh like you got one woman that's a little more toxic than others. Mm -hmm. That he's gonna probably be going a little harder. And if you got the one that's like nice and submissive and everything, he's gonna kind of punk her out and be hitting her like I told you to get this food right. I ordered the macaroni and, and uh, casserole with this, the green bean casserole like this, and you didn't do good. Like he probably, you know, then mm -hmm. that's another one. You didn't wash my laundry. I, got, I still got duty strings on my drawers. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I think it's because uh, you fart all the time. Shart. Uh, shart. Yeah, you shart all, all the time. time. Okay, <laughs> remember? Yeah, you sharted. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's uh. I so think, basically, I think it's, it's like a matter of time when they snap. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, yeah, I, just, I think that's just the way it is. I don't think it's just a one and done that's, thing. That's another thing I feel like some of, like, for example, the more, like, submissive lady, mm -hmm. right? She probably learned about the history, mm -hmm. but she will feel like, oh, he's different when he's with me. Right. He's way sweeter and nicer. Maybe I'm the one that can change him. Yeah. Because a lot of people have that kind of mentality. It's mm -hmm. like, I'm I'm the savior. I am I need to be with him right. to make him a better person. Yeah, I, I personally think when people have a when people have a history of, of being bad, I think that it, it's uh it should be a red flag mm -hmm. to the uh, the person who's coming into their life. Yeah, the, uh, the, the she cheated, he cheated, he beats on his woman. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, maybe she's uh I don't know, she did she did some extra some extra bullshit. She lied on the man or something back in the mm -hmm. day about a, about a great case or whatever it might be. I don't think he should be messing with that. Mm. That's like uh, like the, the lady that I did the, the story on the, the, and the dude. She lied on him and it just came out mm -hmm. that she lied on him. Oh, about his son? Her yeah. son being abused? Yeah, but people are still lining up to go bust her out. That she just recently had some stunts on her uh, on her Instagram live talking about some, yeah, let me, let me bust you out raw. Let me bust you out raw. They're idiots. She's an idiot too because she said, I'm allergic to condoms. Ugh. Right, so she's gross and she's and she's toxic and she's just so a, a pathetic person. So it's not gross. I, I do think there are people who are allergic to latex and yeah. stuff, but there are other types of condom that you can try. No, I, she was saying it in like a sarcastic, like kind of oh. kind of way, like I'm allergic. Like you better come get me without. So yeah, you're gross. You're gross. Anybody can get. If you see the guys, I'm gonna show you what the guys look like. You gonna okay. be? She's gross. I mean, this is sad. Death, and they're making one last plea to him. To help them wrap up the case. For Colin Knapp, who's in this facility right now, know that there is a God. Know that He knows all the answers. And right now, you have an opportunity to do something positive when you had done so much evil. He looks like Andy Stelly! Who? The, the pastor at a Buckhead church. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> Share with us right now where Kathleen is. 
so we can do something for the family. We can give them some type of resolution. And the Pasco County Sheriff's Office says that there are tips from the community that can also help them find Kathleen's body. They say if you know anything, you should call them at 727-847-8102 and press option 7 when you do call. At this point, they also say they don't know how Kathleen died. In Pasco County, Rochelle Lee, ABC. Her Action body's still missing. Rochelle, thank you. And if you're not already point, looking at your screen, um, please mm -hmm. take a look at these pictures right here. This is Colin Knapp's Cadillac. The Pasco County Sheriff says it's the last car that Kathleen was seeing. I mean, have they done any checks on the car? Have they searched the car, dusted it for fingerprints, you know what I'm saying, put down any um, phosphates and, and, and ran the UV lights over them mm -hmm. to see if any blood is detected? Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, it, it doesn't seem like the police department really did a thorough investigation here. Right, the policeman was saying, oh, yeah, just know there's a God and he's out there and you should tell him if it's busy or not. Or if it's right. And also, I feel like, also I feel like since they waited for this long, mm -hmm. it gave them him enough time to actually clean up the evidence. Yeah. 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 Sheriff deputies searching for Kathleen Moore's body. Boyfriend is charged with second degree murder. All right. A suspect has been charged with second degree murder in a missing persons case of 34 year old Kathleen Moore. Pasco County Sheriff Chris Noko said on Monday, Sheriff Noko said Colin Knapp, 30, was arrested and charged. Sheriff Noko said Moore and Knapp had been in a relationship for about five years. Wow. This is a sad reminder that domestic violence takes place in every community, Sheriff Noko said. Um, uh, this is some racist <laughs> shit right here. I mean, we know that domestic violence takes place in every community. Right. How do you feel about that? It's like, why is... I agree. It's like, why is he stressing that point? Yeah, there was no need to, for him to say Yeah, that. nobody yeah. ever said that it only exists in, in this community. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, are you saying that because a white man possibly beat the shit out of and killed a black woman that... Oh, you know, just... This is uncharacteristic of white people, but, uh, you know, this happens. Unless the sheriff is like, because sheriff, own, not owns, like, he works at a certain county, right? Mm -hmm. So he feels like he his county is pretty safe and secure, and this, this incident is just unprecedented. So he's like, yeah, it's, it's the first time it happened in our community. So. No, I think he was part of the, the racist folks. Mm -hmm. Think about it when, um, when old boy went around and, and killed them Asian people, and he said, oh, yeah. He was having a bad day. Ha! How'd you feel? How did it make you feel? Did you feel like, oh yeah, he is, he was having a bad day. Did you feel outraged that he was trying to make it feel all right yeah. about that? You felt outraged. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly how we would feel when he said some bullshit like this. Let's get it. Cut the bullshit. Sheriff Noko said when deputies interviewed Knapp, there were inconsistencies in his statement. After his interview, and with blood and DNA evidence found, Sheriff Noko said it led to probable cause for Knapp's arrest. Pasco deputies are now searching for Moore's body. They are asking the community to call the sheriff's office if they have any information or tips. Moore from Largo has been missing since November 29th. Now, my question is, she's been missing since uh, November 29th. That's quite a long time. Mm -hmm. um, isn't that around the time when that Gabby Petitio was missing, or was that after? I think that's mm -hmm. after. Mm -hmm. But this woman sure as hell didn't get any of the, that Gabby Petitio um, okay. attention. Speaking of that, man, what what was what was the ending result of the whole Gabby Petitio thing, man? Did she uh did she did they find out like did, was she killed by the boyfriend? Was she just missing and ended up dying from like being missing? What happened? Do you know anything about I it? I didn't follow the case. Okay. Anybody knows anything about it, go ahead and co uh, comment that down, man. We would greatly appreciate it. That's interesting. I think that's a question that all the major networks should be being asked. Is why, And that's a question that I have for you guys in the comments. Why did the mainstream media not latch on to this missing woman's story? You mean to tell me, you know, there was nobody that could have pitched in on this? I find that interesting. Mm. So that's the question that needs to be asked of Fox. You have any thoughts on that? Yeah. <laughs> I also feel like 
I don't know why, but this probably is me. I feel like a lot of people in the neighborhood, mm. if they're a house owner or home owner, mm. they probably don't want this to get out because if this actually instead of being a missing persons case turned out to be like a murder case, mm. it's going to hurt the area's crime rate and it's going to hurt the local area's housing price. Oh. They, oh, okay. I guess. I guess yeah, I mean I guess I could be like a little motive back in the back. I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess so. So it's like if you, they can just, I guess, see this or mask mm -hmm. this as like, you know, a girl running away having after a fight with a boyfriend, like why not? Interesting. You know? Sorry, I'm very business, like money yeah, oriented. I see that. I see that. So you got to ask yourself the question, where was the attention on this? Sorry, I have one more point. Mm -hmm. Also about the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of times when you see... If it's, for example, a family setting neighborhood, right? Yeah. And then someone's daughter or son went missing. Then all of the nearby families will be out there helping to search because they don't want similar things happen to their own kids. Yeah. Right? So I don't know what kind of neighborhood they live in, mm -hmm. uh, like the demographic. Like yeah. If they live in a neighborhood that's like predominantly his race, mm -hmm. maybe that's, that's another explanation why people were not really looking into this. Because they were like, oh... Cause it's Florida, you know. Yeah. It's like, oh, we don't yeah. really want her to be here anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. problem solved. Yeah. So normally very active on social media and communicative with friends and family, Moore was silent after Monday early morning. After she missed work and school, friends and family reported her missing. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office said Nap has ten previous felony arrests. Damn, this motherfucker had ten previous felony arrests nine misdemeanors and has been arrested for domestic violence situation in the past with other victims now mm. um i gotta ask the question um regardless right mm. because the first you know you're gonna have your women saying one thing you know that it's only black men that do this and then you're gonna have black men saying oh see you know look at how this zaddy did my question is Regardless of who you are looking for as your partner, if you are a woman, why would you be with someone who has 10 felony arrests, mm. 9 misdemeanors? Mm. Not only that, but this motherfucker also has a history of domestic violence. I'm not... Okay, I have a question. Okay. I think when I was watching Cav Hicks, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, uh, he was like promoting, not promoting, like he was like he was sponsored by this software or this app okay. that does like background check. Okay, I think I heard that right? one time. Yeah. yeah, so it's like he's saying like, you know, it's like if you're dating someone mm -hmm. new, of course mm -hmm. you want to know the past history. Right. Right, so do you feel like for people, especially for people that are meeting new people off the, off the apps, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's fair for them to do like a background check on people they're meeting up? Or do you think this is something that you should just disclose to the person you're seeing? Because I don't think people would I disclose I mean, yeah, this. I don't think people would dis disclose it. So I think it's very fair. We have to live in a, a weird world now. Yeah. And, and yeah, you know, you don't know what this person had going on. You don't know what this person, if they got some kind of a type of uh, STD or whatever the hell. You don't mm -hmm. know. Well, yeah, like this guy, yeah. Like this right here shows that he wasn't, he wasn't worthy. He didn't qualify. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, unless she was a retard, too, because we're not really talking about the kind of person she was and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they're not trying to highlight that because this guy is really the main culprit of, a whole, of all the bullshit. But, yeah, she I don't know, she might be one of those kind of people that's like, you know. On this, on this note, <laughs> we have, it makes me feel like Fresh is mm -hmm. actually a decent guy because yeah. he disclosed his body count and his <laughs> STD history. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got a point there. You got a point there, man. But uh, yeah, like I guess it's just like what we were saying earlier, man. If uh, if you know somebody has a history of doing these kind of things or anything like that, then then you gotta. Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like I feel like when they went on a date, maybe somebody would ask, like, "Have you been to jail before?" Cause some people ask. What? That. Some people do ask that. Well, like I, I've been asked that before. Yeah, yeah. But if I asked you that question, you would think I'm being racist. True, maybe. true, yes maybe or no. So. Maybe right? so, maybe it, it depends on how you asked it, though. Like, I feel like they asked it in, in, in like, a way that wasn't, like, uh, very, uh, I don't know, like, like have, have, you, have, you, like, have you ever been in trouble for anything or something like that? Oh, yeah. okay. But I think it makes sense because if you were a professional boxer, yeah. you'd be like, 
did you did you have you ever used your fists right. outside of the ring? Right. <laughs> yeah, people do ask me that all the time, and girls have even has has even said like, yeah, you're a boxer, so yeah, I've heard that they beat on their women and everything like that. No. But don't you get tired of that question? Yeah, <laughs> I get tired of people asking me boxer related stuff all the time. Unless mm -hmm. yeah, unless it's just like I'm in that realm, or I'm I, like if I'm if I'm on a YouTube video trying to tell you about it, that's cool. You can ask me about it. If I'm in the gym. <laughs> Talking about it, you can ask me about it. But when I'm just out and about or just like enjoying my day and somebody hits me up talking about something, what you think about Lomachenko versus CJ Dubaba? Just a, it's just a, it's a, it is a tricky kind of juggly situation right there. You can't ask somebody, like I don't think you can ask really anybody that without really being uh, kind of offensive. Right. Yeah, so yeah, no matter the race or whatever, I think any, you ask anybody that it's kind of like a little offensive. So I don't know, but I feel like him having 10 dis misdemeanors or whatever the hell, I think that would follow him around to the point where it would kind of be hard for him to not disclose that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, maybe you can. But if you think about all these dating apps that ask if you have kids, if you smoke or drink, right. but they doesn't say, have you been arrested before? There should oh, be an yeah. area that says, have you been arrested? That should be that. Yeah. That should actually be there. Yeah, because yeah, we have a lot of weirdos on dating apps that, that have you know gotten off and, mm -hmm. and you know done some things that they yeah. like to do on dating apps. Right. And then it, even though it shows you like the school they graduated yeah. from, their, their job, yeah. it doesn't mean that if you have a decent job on mm -hmm. paper, like everything looked great on paper, yeah. it doesn't like... Yeah, we need to see what you like like as a person. Have you got caught down bad doing some bullshit? That's a that's actually a great addition to a date. Mm -hmm. We should make one. We should make a date app out here, man. We <laughs> man, we'll clean we'll, it up. We'll be sitting behind. Mm, this guy's an eight. Uh, this girl's is nine. We no, should match them a, together. That's not a dating app. They, they do it oh. themselves. You just like our dating oh. app will just be extensive. Yeah, you can't get on there if you got nine misdemeanors and uh, six felonies. You can't do it. <laughs> trying to be funny, and I'm not trying to, you know, put shade on the victim. But in my opinion, you have to ask yourself the question: well, What what did you think was gonna happen? You know what I mean? Um, if if I was out dating, you know what I mean, and you know I happened to meet some women, I would not date. A woman who was rich off of life insurance policies and three of her husbands died mysterious deaths. I'm, I'm not going to do huh. that because uh, you have a track record and there's some weird shit going on there. Right. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker has a past of, uh, you know, being arrested for domestic violence and 10 felonies. Uh, I'm good. You know what I mean? Good. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. I don't know if they, I don't know how they met. I don't know if they met on Tinder or on some dating app or some shit. People, you gotta, if you're gonna be with somebody, you gotta start vetting these motherfuckers. Right. And even like, you know what I mean? If, if you're like um, looking for an employee, right, or mm -hmm. a company hiring, you mm -hmm. do all those background checks. Yeah. And yeah, I feel like if you're in the dating market, it, it should only be more, um, it should be more what? What, thorough? Yeah, it yeah. should be more thorough than like looking for someone to work for you, right? Because right. you're, you're supposedi spending a lot of intimate time with this yeah, guy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you're inviting them to your house. Exactly. And, yeah, they can know where you're going, where you work, mm -hmm. all this kind of crap. So I think it should be. And, and But I will say, a lot of people look up uh, people on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then if they can't follow them on Instagram, they look them on Facebook. And then like a, I guess like maybe a last dish resort or something like that. They'll look them up on Google or something like that. And when you search this guy's name up on Google, mm -hmm. you would see like 10 mugshots. You see oh, something. What if he gave you a fake name? Uh. I know. I know people who uh, like my friends always look up guys uh, on LinkedIn yeah. to see if their job matches up, a school matches up. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Would you Would you date a guy with uh, nine misdemeanors and ten felonies? Mm, hell no. Okay. All right. There's that. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end the video right there, man. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the rest of the video and what he has to say, man, I think he made some pretty solid points throughout the video. Go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna link it down in the description below, man. Let us know what you thought about this, man. If if uh, any of the questions that we asked, go ahead and answer them down in the comments, or just give your own take on this whole situation, man. But uh, that's the end of the video right there, man. I guess like we said, you can't be just looking past all these uh these uh, glaring obvious things and uh and, and yeah and and i guess if a person has shown you their hand in one point in time then you have to look at that as oh yeah it could happen again 
So don't just be out here just looking at rose with rose colored glasses on at these people, man. She cheated. Oh well, he he beat on you one time. Get him out of there. They gotta go. What if they have the excuse like, sorry, baby, I was drunk last night. I'll never do that That's again. That's still not an excuse. Don't get drunk, dog. That's <laughs> that. Or she said, I got drunk, so I slipped and fell on it. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Idiot. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's the video right there, man. Y'all have a great day, man. If you watched up to this point, thank you, and we'll see you next time.